Follow me. The Grand Prix Coffee produces hives about the face and causes fit men to walk with a limp. Avoid the primitive muck water! Drink fine East India tea! The elixir of gentlemen! What's the meaning of this? I, I don't know, ma'am. They pay me to say what I'm told. I can't even read, I swear. Where is your employer? At his warehouse, no doubt. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Kill me! What do you want? Stop slandering the Grand Prix's reputation. Close your deceptive booth, clean the market of your insipid handbills, and issue a public apology. All right! I'll apologize! I swear! What's this? Coffee? <laughs> How are you feeling? A touch nervous? Itchy? All right, look. I I'm desperate. I can't keep my slaves from escaping. I lose money every day, and all my stock is in tea. If everyone starts drinking coffee, I'll be through. Anyone who keeps slaves deserves to lose them. Next time, remember, far worse things can haunt a man than lost business. All right, all right, all right, ma'am. He'll be no more trouble. I'll say. He's going bankrupt, selling off his shops. Care to um, expand your empire? Now there's an idea. If I buy him out, I can pay his slaves a wage and set them on the path to freedom. Well, certainly a more a peaceful solution to your usual method of handling slavers. I'll keep a tally of properties available to buy and make sure my informants keep an eye on uh, opportunities. Look for them. Thank you, Gerald.
respect. Gérald, I'm hearing about disappearing slaves again. I thought we ended that with Gouverneur d'Abadie. But it happens again, and not only slaves now, but laborers, the poor. Where are they all going? I set my informants on finding out. No, I'll do it myself. They need help now. May I suggest that you um, start with saint Angers this time? Yes. This is one case we won't solve at the garden party. When you're ready to go, find me outside, near the docks. I'll show you a faster way there. Evelyn, simply come here when you need to travel out of town. The, uh, business... Aveline, what troubles you? I'm investigating new reports of disappearances. Are you missing anyone? It does seem that way. But so many rest here before moving on. It is not always apparent where or why a man has gone. Your friend, Elise, hires many people to work. She may know better. Perhaps. I feel a great change coming. You will face powerful foes. Please, take this. A new poison I have been testing. It makes the victim momentarily hysterical. Thank you, venerable one. Girl, where you been? The swamp's not the same without you. 
The gators are getting uppity. Oh, you know, business demands and piano recitals. Ah, <sighs> how I've missed the bayou air. It has the scent of action about it. Among other things. Listen, I'm glad you're here. The other day I saw something and I said to myself, Elise, old girl, something's not right. Convoys loaded with the strangest cargo. People. Dozens of them. Where were they headed? I can't say. But I know where they came from. The fort. Will you show me the place? Thought you'd never ask. Meet me tomorrow. I'll mark your map. A carriage just passed. We can catch it at the bend. I'll race you. I recognize these people. Some of them have worked for me. Chris Fay! A word? Elise! What are you doing here? What does it look like? Rescuing you. From what? Employment? Freedom? Uh, Chris Fay, these chains don't exactly say freedom to me. Temporary discomforts. Too many workers escaped the last voyage without paying their fare. We'll be released once we reach the worksite. These terms don't concern you. Elise, everything in this life concerns me. But I can survive a little longer till we get south to freedom. I don't trust this. Chris Fay, I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But... We should investigate the fort while the time is ripe. With all the soldiers in town, there can't be many left. Elise! I like your thinking. Good. I'll scout ahead. Find me at the bridge. And Chris Fay, keep out of trouble while we go stir some. Right. Thanks.
Now's our best chance. The highest ranking man I've seen is a Teniente. He's lightly protected, but the fort is so big, we'll need to be smart to find him. I think we can handle that. Oh, I... One thing confuses me. What would the Spanish want with the people of Saint Danger? Why them? Why now? This isn't the first time I've detected irregular activity around the Spanish. When they were first taking over, I stumbled on a plot to control the Gouverneur and divert slaves to some underground project. And? I thought I made sure it wouldn't happen again. Let's go make doubly sure. I suppose interrogation's out of the question now. There are quicker ways to get at the truth. Does this mean we don't get aboard the workship? Workship? Where is this workship bound? Away from this wretched colony forever, that's all I know. 
All right, everybody out. Come with me. I'm going to die in this cesspool of a territory, aren't I? Aveline, you'd better make yourself scarce before you incite any more gratitude. I'll escort these people back to Saint Danger. Aveline, you are... unhappy? What did you find? Too much and not enough. The Spanish are behind the kidnappings. But the kidnapped seem to look forward to their transit. To where, I don't know. No one at the fort could tell me. The directive must come straight from the uh, top, from Gouverneur Uyua. Is this why he hides in La Balise instead of coming to the city and leading like a proper leader? What is his true purpose here? I don't know. But I intend to find out. That will be difficult as long as he stays couched in La Balise. I'll drive him out and make him answer. Interrogation is not your usual style. This is not a usual circumstance. Good. Then let us gather our unusual circumstances to plan our attack. This Spanish governor has placed so many restrictions on trade, even plantation owners are practically begging for an excuse to riot. If I can infiltrate the crowd, I can create that excuse. I've received a very, um, exciting piece of intelligence. A gunpowder delivery. It's on its way to a city outpost. Unless we, uh, intercept it. I'm not dressed for interception. Do I have time to change? Oh, yes. Assume you're true, guys. Get your weapons and we'll go. We? You're coming too? You do realize it might get dangerous. Yes, well... Someone needs to navigate. Dressed like that? Gerard, I... Aveline, I'll have you know I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Why should you have all the excitement? I didn't know you wanted. I know what you think. Bloody sensible. Bloody boring. I'm more than just an accountant, Aveline. Very well. You're a navigator too. A regular Magellan.
Where is the carriage? You know what to do with the guards. I'll wait here. The gunpowder! Stop them! Stop Hurry. them! Oh. <laughs> the road ahead is blocked! Turn right! Where are we going? Near the dock! Turn right here! Left! <laughs> left! Left! That was close! You want the rain? Uh -huh. Right! Right! That's it! Turn right again! Hold on to your hat! I'm not wearing one! Straight ahead! Go left! No! Your other leg! 
Turn right! No! Go left! Go left! Left at the next intersection! Go left! I can't! What now? I think we got their attention. A terrible waste of wine, mind you. Spanish wine makes better floor polish anyway. Now, to get Ulloa out of La Balise. I suggest we regroup at the warehouse to strategize. Enough excitement for one day, Gerard? Yes, I think that should last me nicely. Thank you. Evelyn, to draw Ulloa out, we can hit the Spanish where it hurts, in the flotilla. Two military vessels are anchored at the port. If anything were to happen to them, Ulloa could not ignore it. I'll see what I can arrange.
get away! Stop right there! She'll get away! She'll get away! Recognize me now, Capitan? No. Yuri. El Cat. Mendoza! Men! Subdue her at once! Mercy! I'll trouble you no further. I'll give up ale and rag water. I'll mutt and monger no more. I'll go to church. Please, leave me now to my sad, monkish end. You mistake me for your judge and executioner, brother Dominguez. Save yourself, if you're not too slow with liquor.
My student, by now you have surely seen the havoc the rebels wreak. A plan forms in my mind, but we must act fast. To receive your new orders, find me in the graveyard, my last safe refuge in the city. Make haste. Your face has been scarce around the bayou. Do you outgrow your need of me? I came the moment I received your message. I had a nightmare. I dreamt that you turned... No. Never mind. I wonder if you would humor your old mentor with a show of loyalty. Agate, I need not humor you. I am loyal. What do you need? I don't know what you and Monsieur Blanc have been conspiring, but it is clear that now, amid the chaos of the riot, Oyor will finally be forced to leave La Balise and negotiate for peace. Our moment is now. With the kidnapper dead and safety restored, my mission will be complete. I will find peace. There is only one path the governor can take. The others are barricaded or in flames. You must prepare an ambush and strike at just the right moment. Find him. And kill him. I will. Everything I need for an ambush.
We're blocked! There's no way out! No, spare my wife and child. Like you've spared the lives of slaves and laborers you've ripped from their families? Yes, they are not harmed, merely transported to Mexico. Mexico? To what end? I do not know. I am only an advisor. Please, my wife knows nothing. I told her the convoys were for criminals overflowing from the city jail. She is innocent. Allow me to make amends. You? Who knows nothing? I am a man of science. My own southern expeditions required similar tools and manpower. The region is rich with relics predating even the Mayans. Further, I can offer you this. It can be used to decipher secret documents, like this one. I will turn my back now and walk away. If you would like to keep your life, you will remove yourself from this continent, never to be seen again. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Mercy. This is not mercy. I merely leave you to contend with the arsenal of your own employers. A life of hiding awaits you. Go and wallow in your false freedom. Were you successful? Gouverneur Uyoa gave me this trophy. Ah, a valuable find. This makes Uyoa's death an incredible victory for the Assassin Brotherhood. I only wish I could have witnessed it myself. Tell me, what were his last words? Thank you for your mercy. What? You mean to say he is free? This is how you choose to prove your loyalty to me? By disobeying my direct order? By letting our enemy run free? My mentor, you are consumed by bloodlust. We share a common goal. Free the slaves, defeat our enemies, impose justice. We now have the tools we need to advance in our mission. I must follow our enemy to Mexico, now. You will do no such thing! If you will not see it, I must follow my own instincts. What is an assassin without discipline? You will regret your insubordination. I'll take that chance.
Havlin, Agate warned me of your flight to Mexico. Do you intend to abandon your business and the slaves in New Orleans? What about your family? My father sends me to Cuba to find suppliers with his blessing. And you're more than fit to run the business in my absence. I must follow our enemy. And when were you going to tell me? I couldn't risk you trying to stop me. Is this all you see in me? Business, orders? Aveline, I care for you. Gerald, don't be angry. You know we cannot mix feelings with work. I had hoped to spare... Since I know I cannot stop you, is there any last assistance I can provide? I admit my plan to board this ship is clumsy. There's a compound nearby where slaves are held, slaves bound to Mexico. You can gain access to the ship by blending with them. I won't be able to take my weapons. Well, how will you defend yourself? Uh, right. Some silly question. I'll hold them for you until your return. Thank you, Gerald. You're a true, true friend. Of course, if you have enough money. <laughs> 